Alive and well and home in time for Christmas. What started out as a family expedition to find and cut their own tree turned into a four-day ordeal for Freddy Dominguez and his children. After going from tree to tree, they got lost in the frozen wilds of Northern California. And my kids are relying on me and I'm, I'm scared, you know, I, you, can't tell, you can't let them know that you're scared. So I'm telling we're going to be all right. I promise you we're all right. So my, and I was relying on God. I just said, God, I, I, I completely need you now because my kids, they, you know, you just go, you go to survival mode. With no food or water, they huddled together for warmth, using branches to shelter from the cold. The children's mother didn't know what had happened after they failed to come back on time. Um, I just figured that... Freddie, they got in late, decorated the tree, and then um, he was going to take the kids to school the next morning. The rescue effort had been hampered by bad weather. With another storm approaching, the helicopter crew were about to call it a day when they noticed something on the ground below. Uh, luckily for my, uh, my partner here, he was able to see the father come out and start waving. And as he turned, we were able to see a little help sign that they made out of twigs on the road. It took two trips to relay the family to safety. 15-year-old Alexis and 12-year-old Joshua were brought out first. Then came their dad and 18-year-old Christopher. All four were checked for hypothermia, frostbite and dehydration. I can't wait till I can sit down with them and see exactly what happened, you know. But they're survivors, and then three days out there, or whatever, three and a half days, I mean, and, uh, and they're walking and talking, so thank you, Lord. The family can now get back to planning their perfect Christmas. Next year, they'll probably buy a tree instead. Enda Brady, Sky News.